What's up, everybody? Welcome back to It Figures. Today, we have the Marvel Legends Black Panther. This is the comic book Black Panther, and it is part of the Atuma, so that Atuma Build-A-Figure Wave. There he is on the side. You need six figures to build him. You need Namor, Nakia, Okoye, Hatut, Zarazi, Black Panther, and Everett Ross. There's the back. You got the product shot. You got Atuma's leg. That looks like his left leg. And you got two fists in there, along with the open hands. I already put the fist on here. Yeah, a comic shot on the side. And this figure is very comic book accurate. Very comic book accurate. There's the wave. Top. Bottom. You know, this is the new, uh, the new environmentally friendly packaging. I guess it leaves less of a carbon footprint. And this is a dope black panther. I see it's already been getting great reviews. Some people say it's the best comic black panther so far. So we'll see. So yeah, this is Otomo's left leg. That. And from the look of this leg, this guy's gonna be small. I don't like small build of figures. I think if they have you go through all of that collecting fig figures and whatnot, then it should be a large size figure. Like those guys, those build of figures right there. That's how it should look. My little bitty leg guys like this. Well, I digress. Here are the open hands. Little claw hands there. And I'm gonna display this one with the closed fist because every Black Panther on my shelf has their claws out. So been there, done that, overkill with it. So. I'll leave this one with the clenched fist. Put this little leg back in here before it gets lost. And drop these alternate hands back in there. Throw that down there. And look at this guy, he looks great. Comic book accurate. Look at that. My man is shining. That black paint job looks good. Look at those abs popping. Put the separation in between the abs and the chest muscles. Nice contrast to the black and the gray. Love the eyes. The silver in the eyes is killer. That sets the whole thing off to me. Little half cape looks good. That reminds me of like a magician's cape. I don't know. But I like him. He looks good. Looks good. Double jointed elbows. Double jointed knees. No, he doesn't want to move for me. There he is. Double jointed knees. Ankle rocker. Ankle hands. Those up and down. Calf rotation. Upper thigh rotation. Legs go out that far. 
arms, butterfly layout. Not all the way back though. Some of these guys now, like I know a lot of those hulks, the, the arms go all the way back. Not with this guy though. He has a bicep cut, bicep rotation. Head goes way down. Looks like he's brooding. And way up. I guess. Whoa, what kind of? Uh, of course, head rotates all the way around. Side to side. Cape is a separate piece. It could come off if you wanted to. Nice ab crunch as you saw right there. Way back, way forward. Waist rotation. This is a very uh, flexible figure. I like this. Lots of movement. The belt is a separate piece, separate piece of plastic. Nice looking feet. And it's very simplistic. Less is more with this one. Just black and gray paint job. Flat back, flat black and gray paint job. Nothing fancy, but nothing fancy is needed. This is a simple nice looking very flexible very poseable figure and yes i did wear my black panther shirt with the same exact black panther that we are reviewing the old school comic black panther simple and he looks just as intimidating just as menacing just as threatening as the new school ones and speaking of the new school ones let's do some size comparison Here's the Marvel Legends Black Panther comic book edition with uh, the Marvel Legends Eric Killmonger and the Marvel Legends Vibranium Charge Black Panther. You can see they all are relatively the same height. Here he is with one more Panther T'Challa version and Eric Killmonger unmasked. There's the comic Black Panther with the comic book Shuri. Here's the Marvel Legends comic book Black Panther with the Marvel Legends movie Black Panther mask on. I did a little head swap and that actually doesn't look too bad. That's kind of sweet. Here's the head swap without the cape. Pretty cool. And here is the Marvel Legends comic book Black Panther next to the Marvel Select comic book Black Panther. And one more random head swap just in case you were interested. There's the T'Challa Chadwick Boseman head on the comic book Black Panther. And there's the comic book head on the MCU Black Panther's body. So there you go.